Welcome to another trade recap where I'm day trading S&P features on an Apex evaluation account. You can sign up for your own Apex account with my link in the description and use my coupon code for 50% off your first month and 50% off all recurring months. I get filled upon a news release here which sends price into a bit of a frenzy. I target the most recent highs and price gets close a couple of times. When it becomes clear that there may be some more consolidation before my target is hit, I start moving up my stop loss each time price puts in a higher low. I make a mistake though and prematurely move my stop loss to a 1 minute pivot low that was just a little too tight and it gets stopped out for a small profit. If I kept my stop loss at the 5 minute pivot low, it would not have hit and it would have hit my original profit target. Oh well, still happy to book some profit, but next time I'll be more careful when moving my stop loss to give my trade some more room to breathe. After getting stopped out, I see another bullish setup form on a 3 minute time frame and re-enter long on a retracement into a fair value gap and golden pocket. After seeing price get so close to my profit target before reversing on the last trade, when I see price get close this time, I just exit without hesitation. As the saying goes, don't be a dick for a tick. When price retraces into a 1 hour fair value gap after shifting market structure, I decide to go short. The problem was that since this was a setup on a 1 hour chart, my stop loss needed to be extremely wide. I could only use 3 MES contracts to meet my $300 max risk rule. Since my stop loss and profit targets were so far away, I knew this trade would take a while, so I decided to just let it run while I focused on other things and periodically checked in to see how it was doing. Well, 2 hours later, I saw that price was basically just consolidating slowly upwards, and I decided it wasn't worth waiting for it to hit my original profit target. When it finally started breaking downwards, I decided to conservatively exit at the volume point of control and VWAP. Since I was only in 3 MES contracts, this ended up being a very small gain for a 2 hour trade. Glad I still made a little profit here, but I probably won't be taking these higher time frame setups going forward due to not having the patience to be in a trade for hours. Of course, right after I exit the last trade, price immediately starts dropping and my higher time frame bearish setup starts playing out. When I see price retrace back towards VWAP, I identify another bearish setup on a lower time frame and decide to go short. This setup wasn't perfect because the market structure shift wasn't energetic, but I figured there was a higher chance of this trade playing out because it was within the higher time frame bearish setup identified in the last trade. Sure enough, after breaking slightly above the fair value gap I was playing, Price does start to plummet and I scalp out for my fourth win in a row today. So as you can see from the rest of the price action this afternoon, I could have held my last short position all the way down until market close. But as I mentioned in previous videos, I'm still not the best at identifying high quality ICT setups. And so for now I'm just going for the low hanging fruit. As I become more comfortable with the setup, I may start leaving runners to hit more aggressive profit targets. For now, I'm just happy that even while I'm just settling for conservative profit targets, this evaluation account is in great shape, sitting at 51535 We're over halfway to the profit goal with the full $2,500 trailing drawdown to work with. Going 4 for 4 today was a bit lucky, but this is exactly why I removed my daily trade limit. Since I need to stop trading immediately when I take my first loss, I'll continue to take trades if my entry requirements are met if I keep winning them. As long as my setup has a greater than 50% win rate, and I believe it does, these risk rules can maximize the account growth while minimizing the risk. If I can continue to stick to my entry requirements and follow my risk rules, I should hopefully start seeing more consistent results. I just wanted to also quickly mention that we have a number of high volatility news drops next week. CPI data is being released on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, and there's an FOMC rate hike announcement on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Both these news events will most likely have huge volatility spikes in price the second the news is released, which is perfect for my volatility strategy to instantly pass prop firm evaluation accounts. I personally have fresh evaluation accounts ready to capitalize on the CPI and FOMC news drops next week using this strategy. 
check out the video card for more details on how the strategy works. If you're interested in trying it out, remember you can use my coupon code to get 50% off all Apex Evaluation accounts. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe so you're notified of the next time I post a trade recap. In the meantime, I'll continue posting daily profit and loss updates in my channel's community tab.